Hi, my name is Sarah Webb. I'm a PhD candidate at Swinburne University of Technology, and my presentation tonight is called The Hunt for Cosmic Gold. Have you ever actually wondered where gold comes from? Sure, it was once buried deep underground, being held tight by the earth, but that's not where it was formed. To find out, we must actually look to the night sky, out into a universe that seems beautifully tranquil and still, or so it appears. You see, the universe is actually a master of disguise. When you peel back that mask of serenity, you uncover the most brilliant and blinding explosions happening every second in galaxies near and far away. Now, there's one explosion which is both dazzling and mysterious, something called a kilonova. And it has, uh, it, this kilonova is so special, it has astronomers like me quite literally chasing them across the universe. For you see, witnessing these events is our only chance to discover how gold and other heavy elements are forged in the universe. Now, if there was a cosmic recipe for a kilonova, you can pretend we're baking. We'd need two hot, dense neutron stars. We'd want ones roughly the size of Manhattan. They weigh about the same mass of the sun. So pretty heavy, but pretty small. Next, we need to put them in a gravitational dance. And we're gonna do this with our ladle. So you can imagine, we're spinning around and around. These stars are getting closer and closer together in their gravitational dance. And what happens is as gravity pulls them closer, it actually begins to ripple the fabric of space and time. And that creates these things called gravitational waves that move through space and time. And this happens until all of a sudden, they're so close that the only thing that can happen is an actual explosion. And that's when a kilonova is born. After the explosion, only a couple of seconds remain until the kilonova is silent, and then it begins to glow. It glows bright hot in the optical, which means that we can actually see them from hundreds of millions of light years away, but we can only see them for four days, roughly, which means that we better get on the hunt fairly quickly. So how do we know a kilonova has actually happened? So there's gravitational waves I mentioned before, the ones traveling through space and time. They rock up to our Earth. They come to our doorstep and they actually ring a doorbell through gravitational wave detectors. Now with this doorbell ring comes alerts to thousands of astronomers via our phone, our email, our text message saying, hey, something's happened, you need to try find it. Now, it's our turn to play cosmic detective when this happens, because we're not given many clues. We're given something that looks like this. It's a sky map, but as you can see, there's no X that marks the spot. We need to quite literally read between the lines and hunt every area in here for a newborn kilonovi. To do so, we need big eyes, or in this case, we need really big telescopes. And we do this, we take thousands of images of the sky, trying to find that baby kilonova. To date, we've had several exciting hunts for Kilonovi, and unfortunately, we've only found one to date, which is quite intriguing. And now, I'm no statistician, I'm an astrophysicist, but I don't think one is quite enough. And so, every time our phones alert us to these new events, this is why we continue the chase, because one day, we hope to strike cosmic gold. Thank you. <laughs>